a good diet, and good health. Three Nobel Prize winning scientists revealed how the brain stays young, live long lives themselves, and today we will connect their discoveries to foods that support brain longevity. Dr. Eric Kandel is still alive at 96 years old, while Dr. Robert Furchgott lived to 92 and Dr. Gunter Blobel to 81, offering real world proof behind their work. From Dr. Eric Kandel's research on brain plasticity, to Dr. Robert Furchgott's discovery of nitric oxide and blood flow, to Dr. Gunter Blobel's insights into cellular protection, each breakthrough points to a core biological process that shapes brain longevity. And for each one, we will connect the science to three everyday foods that support these pathways, showing how staying mentally sharp may be one of the most powerful ways to stay biologically young. And along the way, you will also hear directly from Dr. Eric Kandel as he shares a surprisingly simple habit that powerfully protects memory. Together, this science shows how staying mentally sharp may be one of the most effective ways to stay biologically young. Dr. Eric Kandel and the Brain Plasticity The first discovery comes from Dr. Eric Kandel, who won the Nobel Prize in 2000 for showing that learning and memory physically change the brain. His research revealed that every time we learn something new, the connections between neurons are strengthened, weakened, or remodeled. Memory is not stored in a single location but in the quality of these connections, known as synapses. As we age, it is not the loss of brain cells that matters most, but the gradual loss of this ability to adapt. When synaptic plasticity declines, the brain becomes less flexible, learning slows, and cognitive aging accelerates. Modern diets quietly undermine brain plasticity by overwhelming the very systems that support learning and memory. Diets high in refined sugars and ultra-processed foods drive repeated spikes in blood glucose and insulin, which increase oxidative stress and low-grade inflammation in the brain. Over time, this interferes with the signaling pathways that allow synapses to strengthen and adapt. At the same time, highly refined carbohydrates and poor quality fats reduce levels of brain-derived neurotrophic factor, a key molecule involved in synaptic growth and maintenance. Instead of supporting adaptation, the modern diet pushes the brain toward rigidity, making it harder to form new connections and easier to lose existing ones. In contrast, foods that support plasticity nourish the brain at a structural level. Fatty fish such as salmon and sardines provide DHA, an omega-3 fat that is a major component of neuronal membranes. Research consistently shows that DHA supports synaptic flexibility and is associated with better memory performance and slower cognitive decline with aging. When neuronal membranes remain fluid and responsive, communication between brain cells becomes more efficient. Berries support plasticity through a different pathway. They are rich in polyphenols that protect neurons from oxidative stress and support signaling involved in learning and memory. Both animal and human studies have linked regular berry consumption with improvements in cognitive function, particularly in areas related to memory and learning. Rather than acting as stimulants, these compounds help preserve the brain's ability to adapt over time. Eggs contribute choline, a nutrient essential for the production of acetylcholine, a neurotransmitter involved in attention and memory. Adequate choline intake has been associated with better cognitive performance and supports the structural integrity of brain cell membranes. Together, these foods do not just fuel the brain but help maintain the biological flexibility that Dr. Candle showed is central to staying mentally sharp with age. Now let's hear directly from Dr. Eric Candle on a surprisingly simple activity that can help preserve memory. I do certain things that I think will help my brain. For example, I'm maturing, and one thing that one needs to worry about when one gets to be my age is something called age-related memory loss. There's Alzheimer's disease, but in addition, a more common disorder is age-related memory loss. As people age, their memory weakens. And I have reason to believe that we can overcome that by walking. Bone is an endocrine gland. It releases a hormone called osteocalcin. And I found in experimental animals that osteocalcin overcomes age-related memory loss. So I'm now substituting walking for short drives. I try to walk about two to three miles a day. When you walk, you exercise your bones. Your bones are an endocrine gland. They're not just an architecture for movement, but they release a hormone, probably several, but one important one is called osteocalcin. And osteocalcin acts on memory. It enhances memory and it's particularly effective for age-related memory loss. So walking is very good for overcoming age-related memory loss. And one of the reasons that exercise is important is because exercise builds up bone mass. This is in particularly important in women, where bone mass tends to decrease more dramatically than in men, but it's important for everybody. So when you exercise, you increase your bone mass, you increase osteocalcin, 
and you improve age-related memory loss. Osteocalcin production also depends on proper nutrition. Foods rich in vitamin K play a key role because this vitamin activates osteocalcin so it can function effectively. Leafy greens such as spinach and kale provide vitamin K1, while fermented foods and certain cheeses supply vitamin K2, which is especially important for bone signaling. Adequate protein intake is also essential, since osteocalcin is a protein produced by bone cells. In addition, vitamin D-rich foods such as eggs and fatty fish support bone metabolism, helping bones communicate more effectively with the brain as we age. Dr. Robert Furchgott and blood flow into the brain. The second Nobel discovery comes from Dr. Robert Furchgott, who won the Nobel Prize in 1998 for revealing that nitric oxide is a critical signaling molecule in the body. Before his work, blood vessels were thought to open and close passively. Dr. Furchgott showed that nitric oxide actively tells blood vessels to relax, allowing more blood, oxygen, and nutrients to reach tissues, including the brain. This matters deeply for longevity because the brain is one of the most energy-demanding organs in the body. When blood flow declines with age, neurons receive less oxygen and glucose, waste products accumulate, and cognitive performance begins to suffer. In many cases, what we call brain aging is simply a slow failure of circulation long before neurons themselves are lost. Modern diets impair blood flow by damaging the inner lining of blood vessels, known as the endothelium. Diets high in refined sugars, excess sodium, and ultra-processed foods increase oxidative stress and inflammation, which reduce the body's ability to produce nitric oxide. Over time, blood vessels become stiffer and less responsive, making it harder to deliver oxygen and nutrients to the brain. Even before noticeable cognitive decline appears, reduced circulation quietly limits brain performance and accelerates aging. Beets are one of the most powerful foods for supporting blood flow. They are rich in natural nitrates, which the body converts into nitric oxide. This pathway directly supports the mechanism Dr. Furchgott discovered. Studies have shown that beet consumption improves vascular function and increases blood flow to the brain, particularly in regions involved in executive function. By enhancing nitric oxide availability, beets help keep blood vessels flexible and responsive. Leafy greens such as spinach, arugula, and lettuce support blood flow in a similar way. They provide dietary nitrates along with antioxidants that protect nitric oxide from being broken down too quickly. Regular intake of leafy greens has been associated with better vascular health and slower cognitive decline in aging populations. These foods support circulation not by stimulation, but by restoring normal vessel signaling. Pomegranate supports blood flow through its high polyphenol content. These compounds reduce oxidative stress within blood vessels and help preserve nitric oxide activity. Research has linked pomegranate consumption with improved endothelial function and better cerebral blood flow. Dr. Furman also highlights pomegranate as one of his top six foods for longevity, known as G-bombs, and I have linked a video where he explains why this fruit plays such a powerful role in long-term health. In the context of brain longevity, this means a steadier supply of oxygen and nutrients reaching neurons over time. Dr. Gunter Blobel and Cellular Protection The third Nobel discovery comes from Dr. Gunter Blobel, who won the Nobel Prize in 1999 for explaining how proteins are directed to the correct locations inside the cell. This may sound abstract, but it is central to brain longevity. Neurons are especially sensitive to cellular chaos because they must function for decades without being replaced. When proteins are delivered to the wrong place or fail to fold correctly, cellular stress increases and toxic buildup occurs. Over time, this breakdown in cellular organization contributes to neurodegeneration and cognitive decline. Dr. Blobel's work revealed that longevity at the brain level depends not just on energy or blood flow, but on maintaining order inside every single neuron. Modern diets disrupt cellular organization by overwhelming neurons with metabolic and oxidative stress. Diets high in refined sugars and ultra-processed foods increase the production of damaged proteins while simultaneously impairing the systems responsible for folding, transporting, and recycling them. In neurons, this is especially damaging because these cells are rarely replaced. When misfolded or misplaced proteins accumulate, cellular compartments lose their functional boundaries, stress responses are activated, and normal signaling begins to break down. Over time, this internal disorder contributes to the slow progression of neurodegeneration and accelerated brain aging. Berries support cellular protection by supplying polyphenols that reduce oxidative stress inside neurons. These compounds help protect proteins from damage and reduce the burden on cellular quality control systems. By lowering oxidative injury, 
Berries indirectly support the precise protein targeting and organization that Dr. Blobel showed is essential for long-lived brain cells. Extra virgin olive oil supports cellular order through its high content of monounsaturated fats and protective polyphenols. These compounds stabilize cellular membranes and reduce inflammation, creating a more favorable environment for proper protein transport and signaling. Research consistently links olive oil consumption with better cognitive outcomes, likely because it helps preserve the structural integrity of neurons over time. Cruciferous vegetables such as broccoli and Brussels sprouts support cellular protection by activating detoxification and antioxidant pathways inside cells. These vegetables contain sulfur-containing compounds that enhance the cell's ability to manage damaged proteins and reduce internal stress. By supporting these cleanup and defense systems, cruciferous vegetables help neurons maintain internal organization and resilience as the brain ages. When you support brain plasticity, protect blood flow, and maintain cellular order, you are addressing the three core biological pillars of brain longevity, and if you want to see how this science translates into everyday food choices, I recommend a related video where Dr. Amen, who has analyzed over 250,000 brain scans, shares his top 5 foods for brain health.